can't see a thing. There's blood everywhere. Get suction and sponges in there. OK, I'm about to cut into the pericardial sac. At least I hope that's what I'm cutting. You want me to take it? If you're not comfortable, no, on, no, I can't. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm good. We're down to one minute. No, you're good, you're good. That's going to happen. One, the procedure doesn't happen all that often. And when it does, it literally is cutting a man side open and sticking your hand in his heart and start working the heart for him. So that scene is just so exciting to see. You watch Alan really, really just go on autopilot. You can see his fear, and then the leader in him has cannot quit. Essentially, he does what he does best. He helps people. They all do. That's what's great about this world. You're watching people do their jobs really well, even under that kind of pressure. Take this. You need to guide it into the perforation. Oh. They've made me feel like God. Good. You know, I can see how doctors can develop these God complexes, where they literally have their hand on a, a human's heart. And they're literally giving, they're the life force behind this person surviving or not. It was like that was an interesting sort of notion to watch Alan go through. And as an actor, it was like, wow, we didn't have to do anything. Because everything was so real and it was timed and we rehearsed it. And when you throw yourself into something that's already so well rehearsed and you know that what you're doing is authentic. What we've been doing with Remedy, um, when it started before today, was working on the script and trying to make sure that was as factually correct as possible. And then today itself, what we're doing is looking at the shoot and trying to make sure that there are no continuity errors and that things are as close to true, true life or real life Good. as possible. I'm clamping the cap. Hand me a syringe to inflate the balloon. Let's get the lungs back up and keep compression steady. OR4 will be ready. Let's go. All right, guys, clear it. Hey, move, move it. I think that the value of having a medical advisor on site that's been there and done it is the little details, um, which hopefully come through to the viewer watching the episode at home. Everything that we do is so real life all the time that it's fun to do something that uses the same set of skills without actually being a life or death situation. Well, when Enrico asked me what it was like to hold someone's heart in my hand, I immediately flashed back to being a medical student and doing it for the first time. And it's a, a wonderful experience, and I think most people have the, the same reaction. And it's basically just the coolest feeling in the world. When I asked Sam what it was like to hold a human heart, she tried to describe just being high, like, like a drug high of just euf euf of, of euphoria. Um, there's a sense of awe and a little bit of terror as you're actually feeling a heart beat in your hand. There's nothing else that quite compares to it.